G'day guys and welcome back to another vlog on the Drewsy channel. It's the Frio Match Day vlog at Gather Round. I'm here with the Carlton man today, Juan Rogers. To be honest, couldn't think of anyone better to watch the footy with, although you're on the other side today. This is massive. Probably the game of Gather Round, I suppose, we say. I think that is predicted to be the game of Gather Round, but they, oh my god. Oh, we've almost lost our banner. It almost went overboard. We oh, that. I have a feeling that we win by 10 goals. I really do. It's no, not really going to happen. Yeah. That's just big bias. They don't pay attention to Freo. We'll go under the radar. I'm going to back Freo to win today in a close one. I'm going to go Freo by four points. 10 goals plus. <laughs> Come on, Freo. Let's go. Get the job done. Come on, Freo! AT lining up. Come on, son. Come on. She looks at it early. Real tight game. Absolute chess match. This is going to be a ripper, you can already tell. Blues finally get rewarded for their dominance around the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's been even Stevens. Was that Jarrah? <laughs> yeah, well, Jarrah with the snake? What a snake. Absolute snake of the boat. Just came to his senses, really. Can you blame the man? Tommy Emmett! Who is he? <laughs> come on, boys. Great start. Bailey Banfield, come on, son. Ripper! Great start, boys, come on. Paddy Cripps signing up. It's a tough kick, but he's a pretty reliable set shot these days. He's got to start saying. Love it, goodbye! That's my captain. And he's done the baby rock celebration for his newborn. Love that. A quarter of time at Adelaide Oval. Frio currently leading by a singular point. That was an arm wrestle quarter of footy, Rod. That was a great quarter of footy from the Dockers. I'm really happy with that. Missed a few opportunities inside 50 that I thought we should have taken, but yeah, that's exactly how I expected the tight game. The optimist in me is going, you, you find your best shot, you find your best footy and you're up by a point. I don't feel like we've really got going, but the flip side is that maybe you deny us from getting going and you would deny us from getting going for the next three quarters. So we say, really excited to see this quarter. I think we break it open a bit more. Maybe. Right off the inside. I realise I'm surrounded by Carlton fans left, right, centre, behind. Get a bit of uh, ground dominance, field dominance, I think. Not long left in the second for currently lead by four points, which was my prediction for the margin for the whole game. So if we could just hold that for another two quarters, it'd be happy days. <laughs> We've conceded the 50 late in the quarter. Don't concede a goal now. Don't concede a goal now. Where's the siren? Holding the ball! Come on! It's holding the ball, you maggot. Get off him. Oof. Tight first half here. Very, very tight. Time, Rog. Frio up by three points. A very tough arm wrestle game of footy. How have you seen it so far and what do you expect in the second half? Mate, Frio is so impressive defensively, but we've seen like defense is so good at winning games of footy. It's so good to get you to a prelim final. Ross line at Frio, Ross line at St Kilda. It can even get you to a grand final, but it doesn't win your flags. You need to be able to hurt the team the other way. And I'm not nervous about you hurting us the other way. So I'm curious to see. I feel like there's going to be a 10 minute lapse in defense from Frio at some point, and we'll kick four or five goals, break the game open. But um, if you start hitting us the other way on attack and transitioning, I'll start to get a lot more nervous. I just think it's been a professional performance from Frio so far. We're taking the game on when we need to off the turnover and sort of using the width to move the ball fast, not necessarily in the middle of the ground where you're prone to a turnover. Sling it down the other end and Charlie's going to kick score on you. So I just think it's been a very measured approach from Frio today. I was expecting. I wouldn't say it's a boring game by any stretch of the imagination, although the low score line. I am scared that Carlton could get a run on. They finished that half pretty strong, Raj. Um, and Josh Draper's been playing on Charlie Kerno, which has been a very fascinating matchup, the third gamer. We're a really strong last quarter team, and I think that's because when it gets to the last quarter and the game's in contention, we play on it, we go through the guts, and we give Charlie and Harry a chance to isolate up forward. So there will be a spell. If you guys were up halfway into the last quarter, even if it's the same margin, three points, we'll have to go quick, and I think that's when you'll see the game break open and hopefully put a few more. When you go chaos, you go well, usually yeah. the blues. Massive second half coming up. Get the job done, Freo. 
Who is that man? Who's Tommy Emmett? He's yeah, before the game, him. I kept on saying, who is Tommy Emmett? <laughs> Get to know him. Get to know him. Come on, bro. Hit the front again. Let's go. Oh, there's our man, Fife. There he is. We're going for beers at 7 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> Two time. Now he's popped it to the top of the square. Luke Jackson. Drop the arms in the back. Josh Tracy, big hole in the ball, Cole. Trade in front, not an issue. Come on. I like the big kahuna. He goes well. Seven point lead now. Come on, boys, hold. It's great footy from the Dockers. Dirty, foggy. I mean, Just serious. For the right I mean, mean serious. That was the most, the most amount of carry off for the softest. <laughs> well, you didn't even fucking touch it. He got back up as well. This is getting fiery now. There's tension in it. There's no Game's tension. We're going to win by five cups. <laughs> Jimmy Ace, go on! Fast oh. down. On top for the last part of this third quarter, the Dockers, Young, Sabron, and Brayshaw, they're getting dirty, but we needed to put more on the scoreboard for the dominance we've had. Well, Rogers, we're going to the last quarter, nine points apart. Pretty well bled for most of the day. Squeaky bumper. Uh, I just think that um, it's been a nice little build. It's not been a nice little warm up for the real stuff coming in this last quarter. 5 10 with kick, 10 5, a lot of different story. And I think we're about to um, flex our muscles, but it's been, it's been cute watching you guys have a moment. One man, though, has got to go. I'm shitting myself because Colton are a good fourth quarter team. They love a come from behind win. Amos from the pocket, last quarter. Give it a 2.5 goal lead, kicking to the hill end. Oh, Carlton have been let off because it's a behind. Owies to give the Blues a bit of light, a bit of hope. Yes, He's celebrating early, Drews. Good boy. Kill it all. Oh. Acres, fuck off, Acres. Rebound. Andrew Brayshaw. Andrew Brayshaw. Doesn't have the legs. Oh, in so many almost moments. Hayden Young has gone toe to toe with Crips all day. He's having a massive game. Brayshaw has been his best game of the season, I reckon. Kerno has it. Obviously, the top of the square. Do with that, boys. Come on. Hits it to space. Oh, gathered by Tabana. Luke Jackson follows it up. It's almost. Oh, he's dragged it in. Oh! He dragged that in. Yeah! Oh. Come on! Oh boy! But there's still plenty of time. There's still plenty of time, but this is this is pivotal. This is massive. Michael Walters. I wouldn't prefer the ball in the hands of anyone else other than Michael Walters at this moment. He's clutch. He has good touch. Charlie 
can sometimes be wayward here. Got to finish. Premierships up against zero. What do you expect? It was just, the script was already written. We were just reading the book, and I knew from the first side we were winning that game. Of footy. The footy world knows that the best team didn't win today. We were robbed. I see this game as a rivalry in my eyes. I know you boys don't because you're all fucking arrogant, Colton wankers, and all this and that. But Rogers, when the big game comes in September, I'm confident that all this heartbreak that you've caused my club over the years will come back to bite you on the arse. I'm not. Note. I was terrified in that last quarter. I thought you boys had it won. I lost hope, but then when I when I lost all hope, I probably I probably did. I accepted defeat. Charlie Curnow missed a set shot from 45 metres out on the angle, and Drizzy celebrated over the fence. Their five kick one for 60, and that was the moment I knew. I said, "You're going to regret that one, Drizzy." I thought that is the moment the game turned, and it's when it did. But I love you to bits. I'm sorry for being an asshole. No, mate. I was having a laugh. But what a what a game of footy! Frio will finish in the eight. One of us had to lose today, and it was in absolutely terrible fashion. But fucking what a day, what a trip overall. Now we kiss. Nah. <laughs> we spoke how this was going to be match of the round, and it ended up being that. And now we get to kick on as neutrals. Watch the cats take on the dogs. Your beauty. I'm Let's go. Line. I'm done. Oh, poor Drew. Sorry, Drew. <laughs>